Alright, what's up guys? It's Fluffy Hammy Adri here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be telling you guys the story of when I was a scammer. And it's actually a lot more interesting than it sounds. So I highly encourage you guys to listen to the entire story because there's a lesson at the end that is actually pretty important that I think a lot of people will learn from. Also, I want you guys to know before I start that I would never scam again. This was all in the past and I still feel incredibly guilty for doing it. Scamming is terrible even if you're only taking pointless pixels. And again, I would never ever do it again. So please don't get the idea that I'm a scammer because for the third time I would never scam again. Anyway, if I recall correctly, it all began in around 2014. I had joined Animal Jam and then I quickly met someone who went by the username Kitty Love Manatee, but most of you guys know her as Cat. We had both joined Animal Jam around the same time, so we were sort of noobs together. Basically, we used to be really, really good friends. We would get on Animal Jam every single morning and play all day long together. After we started getting pretty used to the game, we discovered the whole world of cool rare items along with betas. Since we were still sort of noobs, all we had was boring store-bought things and a few rare item Mondays. So I'm sure like everybody else in the game, we wanted rares, we wanted to look cool, and we wanted to fit in. So with a lot of trading, we earned our first good rare. I'm pretty sure my first good rare was a worn blanket. And keep in mind that these were really, really good in 2014. So again, since I was pretty young, I was pretty upset about getting scammed. I thought that I worked really, really hard on that worn blanket and all of that hard work was just gone to waste. So I decided that I wanted revenge. And this is when we both agreed to start scamming. We had competitions of who could scam a rare worn blanket first, or who could scam rare bow and arrows first. Also, again, keep in mind that these were pretty good items back in 2014. One of us would go into a really populated place with pretty rare people, and we would do the casual flash trade me or trust trade me. Also note that this was when the trading system was hardly developed and it was pretty easy to scam people depending on how wise the person was, I guess. Since Kat and I had pretty much no life back then, we would sit there for hours on end just getting people to flash trade us and trust trade us. Surprisingly, we scammed quite a few good items doing that. I even made friends by trying to scam them. Like for example, we both made two good friends who went by the usernames Flamey58475 and Hedalia or Hetalia Cosplayer, but I'm pretty sure she changed her username. Anyway, all of us flash traded almost every day, and it was actually pretty fun. Kat and I both tried to scam them multiple times, which I really regret because I'm still good friends with them to this day, and they are absolutely amazing people that I would never scam or try to hurt as of today. I'm pretty sure both of them knew that we were trying to scam them though, considering the fact that they would never be stupid enough to let us scam them. And if Flamey or Hatalia is watching this, I'm actually still sorry for trying to scam you to this day. And anyway, sometimes Kat and I would even make a spare account, and with the help of one another we would act like we could duplicate items. So we got people to send us their items, acting like we could duplicate them, then came back online to see the precious rares that we stole. But something that I never told Kat was that I felt extremely guilty every single time I scammed something. Something kind of funny that I did was I wrote down all of the usernames of people I scammed. I don't really know why I did that, but I did. So we continued scamming almost every single day, but I felt guiltier and guiltier and guiltier every single time. I was scamming innocent people that never did anything wrong to me. So I gradually stopped. By 2015, I had completely stopped scamming along with Kat. That's pretty much the end of the story. What I learned from this is scamming really isn't worth it, guys. It doesn't matter what item you want, it will not be important in the future, it'll not be worth it. You'll forget all about these pixels in the future and they're not going to help you with your life. And the most important thing is that 
Like how I started scamming, when you scam someone, it will most likely make that person want revenge and start scamming as well, just like me. And for the fifth time, I would honestly never do it again. I probably hurt so many people back then, and I still feel really guilty about it because, again, those were innocent people that didn't deserve to get basically all of their hard work stolen. Anyway, that's my story about scamming. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!